No. Yes, please, yeah. I just woke up. Tea is served in bed. Thank you so much. Hola. No, no, it's okay. This one for cold water. Anyway, it's eight o'clock. It was about five o'clock when I went to bed yesterday. I think they I woke up around eight. It's just been all night. It's just been in and out of me going out to... Uh, yeah, I'll show you what I've been doing outside. It's pretty horrible. But anyway, uh, they just woke up. It's eight o'clock. Uh, it snowed last night. Let's go and see what it looks like. Have snow. Whew. You, you're still gonna sleep. <laughs> still sleeping. Okay. Oh man, you have, you have sandals on. <laughs> Are you not cold? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> yeah, but you're wearing you're wearing summer clothes. Ah. Okay, let's go and see. She was just outside, chasing away the the horses. Is this mine? She was just outside here chasing away the horses. They were standing right here. I don't know why she didn't want them there. I mean, it was some. They had some kind of food, and now the food is is done. Oh, my tracks are gone, so this snow is then kind of fresh. This is where I go to. To. Uh, ooh. I don't want people to have to listen to that also I haven't even asked them actually where's the where's the bathroom in there so massive headache uh, didn't eat anything yesterday um, I'm gonna try today so what was it like sleeping in one of these huts or it's houses not hot you know what it was probably the it was the warmest and also the best sleep I've had now granted I had three blankets but one of them was a yak blanket from the from the fur from one of these all right let's go in here they're gonna I think they're gonna cook up some herbs and some some stuff that they say will make my stomach better. I mean, this is the third day now, so naturally, I think I'm gonna get better anyway. But let's uh, let's see if uh, what they have works. Ooh. What are you making? I'm making some bread, Tibetan bread. That's our breakfast? Yes. And then your grandparents, they, they pray in the morning? Yes. Yeah. Hey, your grandfather trying to get me to drink rice beer? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> He says, I'm, I'm not getting better because I didn't drink the rice beer. <laughs> he trained to be a pizza baker in Italy for 15 days once. To raise funds for the earthquake. <laughs> I don't think you understand with my food. <laughs> you said you were a pizza baker. Yes. Yeah. I was training for 15 days. In Italy. Yes, and we, we made a dinner party in Italy, invited the guests, collected the forms, came back to Nepal from the organization, mm -hmm. help you during the time of earthquake. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, cool. Yeah. She just put this inside her shoes for heat. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have in your shoe too? Yeah. Shoes cold. Yeah. Yeah, these are just normal. There's no no heat in those shoes. Yeah. Summer shoes. Ram the shoes. 
summer shoes. <laughs> Rum. Rum. Rum, yeah. <laughs> now, if you see outside, it's winter. So obviously, getting food up here is difficult. But growing food up here is even harder. But believe it or not, they do have, they do grow things up here. They grow potatoes. There is, uh, you can grow potatoes one time a year. Yes. When did you pick the potatoes? In October. In October. Mm -hmm. So obviously now you have to wait until, is it until April to grow again? Yes. So he told me about a secret trick. Uh, you have a storage here. Yes. Federal potato reserves. Yes. Can we have a look? <laughs> it's pretty interesting. I haven't seen it myself yet, but he was, he was telling me before. Sure. It's under here? Yeah, we dig like a two feet and put it inside here. Can we have a look? And we cover it. You cover it with what? We cover it like uh, grass roots, you know. So here, my grandmother, she has put in the small potatoes in the sack. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Uh -huh. And the big potatoes down. Just obviously down there, they don't freeze. Yes. So you see, yesterday evening I dig some for Yesterday making, you took some potatoes yes, out? Yes, for making some potatoes for you, but you didn't have dinner. I didn't eat anything. Yes. <laughs> I'll try and, today. And we had some here by stew soup. Yeah, you can see. All right, all right. That is awesome. Uh -huh. Listen, that looks fantastic. Uh -huh. I want this potato today. Okay. Okay? Yes. Awesome. The Federal Potato Reserves. <laughs> All right, now we can close it again. Okay. Only one potato today. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, keep it. Ah, keep two. So one, one planting season. Now, uh, you told me it, it is enough, like the potatoes and these things, it's enough for you to eat. Mm -hmm. But they do, uh, if they want to bring things up from Siaprobesi, which was the, the city you saw me start in on my hike, it is... Uh, I think your aunt told me that you pay per, per 50 kilos, uh -huh. you pay 2,000. Yes. So to bring things up with the mule, uh, 50 kilos, per 50 kilo is 2,000 um, Nepali, which is about a dollar eighty, I think. What's that, like two dollars? Two dollars? No, two dollars is just 200. 20 dollars? Oh, it's about $20. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, okay. Man, uh, it's about $20. So obviously, maybe you maybe you think, well, for 50 kilos, that doesn't sound that bad. But in a, in a village like this, where basically there is no money economy, whatever little money is here is from tourism. And here is just subsistence, agriculture, and, you know, barter and living. That's, that's, you think that's expensive? Living here? No, the, the 50 kilo, 2,000. Oh, it's expensive, but we manage. How often do you do that? How often do you bring things with a mule? Like uh, in a year, like uh, in lodges, big lodges. No, for your home, for your home here. How how often do you bring things oh, up? For here, like uh, in a year, like two times. I see. So mm -hmm. six months, you you bring the essentials, yes, and then, yes. yeah. Now it's getting sunny. It's getting sunny. Yes. Very sunny. Slowly. Very sunny. <laughs> hey, Harold, the sun is coming slowly. Going. I don't really see it, but my grandfather dug it. She keep it. And you called it the five root something. You had a name for it. Five finger. Five it's finger. Like five finger. You know, it's the root of a plant, but it's exactly like a five finger. You know? I'm moving out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Five, five. Five fingers. Yeah. It's the root of a plant. Yeah. But it's like a fingers, you know. Yeah. You do it too sometime? You eat? Yeah, I ate it like a year ago when I had a gastric, you know. It worked? Uh, quite well. Yeah. Good, good. This one. We make what? it like a garland, you know. Oh, you turn it into a necklace. Uh huh. And dry it, store it, so you can see it like. So then, how many we take off? Like a one, one like this. Uh -huh. So I show you, okay? One minute. So these are like fingers, you know. 
You see? It's like a finger, you know? Yeah. And this is where the plant grows, you know? And then are we putting it in a soup? Or do I eat it like that? We beat it. And make it pieces. And put in hot water. And then I drink boil it. it. Boil it. Uh, it's like a... It's like a cream, you know? And then you drink the cream, you know? That sounds delicious. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> it's just very different, you know. Very different? Or different. different. What does that mean? <laughs> I cannot explain the taste, you know. It's not a sour, not sweet. It's a very different taste. I'm excited. Oh, there we go. Nice. Good. Okay. I see. So the roots are not in here, just the water now. Yeah, the liquid from the roots. Hey, it tastes like tree. tree. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, skull. Thank you. Skull. There we go. Cheers. Okay, let's see if this sets me straight. Okay, okay. Ooh, it's okay, okay. So the first, the first one she gave me was not. Uh, that was before. Uh, after that, she she took those roots. She went out. She crushed them, and she's boiled them again now for a little bit. And now the taste is going to be stronger. They say. <laughs> yeah, same taste. Still, still like a tree. Wait, it's not allowed outside. Cold out. Oh, he has to be inside because mm -hmm. of the. But what about at night? Was he inside or outside? It's no, we put him inside. Oh, I see. What's his name? His name is Walla. Walla? Yes. Hello, Walla. He's a very old horse. Wow, I was just gonna say, he looks young. No, he's like a, maybe like a 17, 18 years old. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, so this is the yak bone? Yak bone. Yeah. <coughs> bone. What will he do with the, with the crushed bone? For what? A, uh, drinking soup. For a soup? Sure. Yes. All right. So no, you, do, you don't eat this, it's too old? Yeah. Old and dry? But you, you never kill the yak bull here? Yes. You, you wait for it to die? Yes. I showed him my hunting video from, from Texas earlier of the 300 pound pork I got from the chopper. He was not impressed. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good soup. Oh. oh, look, the little one has come down. How old is this one? The mini yak. One years. One years. How how long before he gets grown big? You don't know, like yes. a two year, three year, they're, they're super big? Yeah. I think three years. Three years. Have you ever petted him? He always runs away. Yes, sir. always runs away. Hey, I'm just gonna pet you. <laughs> just one petting. <laughs> no. <laughs> what about you? Oh, one of these animals are taking a liking to the Northmen. Oh. Well, they kind of closed off the village here. I guess this is the gate. Is this so the horse don't run away? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to go for a little walk. I just want to tell you, so 
Coming up on 4 o'clock now, it's gonna get dark in the not too distant future, around 5, 5.30 I think it gets dark. So, but obviously I've just spent now 24 hours sitting in that bed and if I'm not in that bed, I've been hiking up in the mountains to do you know what. But that sucks kind of filming because I haven't been able to kind of see daily life out here in the village to the extent that maybe I would have been able to capture if I was... Uh, oh, there, the Federal Hay Reserves. Oh man, you see, as soon as I'm out, Things happen. Ooh, let's jump over. <laughs> He's hungry. He's hungry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, since I haven't been out and about and I've just been sitting in the bed, I haven't been able to kind of capture daily life here in the village like I wanted to. I've shown you some, you know, the little I've seen, but uh, it is what it is. What I have learned though, uh, I've learned a lot. You know, they tell me things about village life here and I kind of, I'm like the fly on the wall sitting in there just observing. Most of the time is spent uh, cooking, preparing to cook, cleaning, staying warm. Like I said, I spent 12 hours in the bed and then the 12 hours are not in bed, you know, they're out chopping wood. Uh, making food, tending to the animals, ensuring they have enough to eat. A lot of the women, they, they sit at home and weave because there's no harvest or anything like that to tend to now. And the men like to play cards. That's what I learned. Now, another interesting fact is that I'm just in awe of these houses. I love them. They look fantastic. I'm so happy I got to spend, well, I guess I'm staying here again. So I guess I got to spend two nights here. But all of these, as you're trekking up here, you, you saw a lot of kind of guest houses and more modern buildings. Every little like pit stop for hikers or trekkers used to have an adjoining village like this with uh, the stone structures uh, and looking kind of ancient and archaic. But with the earthquake uh, and 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 avalanches it you know one of the villages was just outright just destroyed and as i said yesterday these in an earthquake and in an avalanche these buildings are the worst ones they're the opposite of earthquake uh, proof because these stones they move they shake and you know the house comes down and if you're inside it's it's game over so that's why a lot of these villages were well, all of them were either abandoned or just completely buried, like the village of Langtang. Um, I'll, I'll walk by there tomorrow and I'll show you again. If you don't want to wait for that video, check out my, my video, 13 hour hiking up the Himalayas alone, uh, when I walk through there. But anyway, so this is the last one that still looks uh, like this, in this area. Oh, there's a cat. There's a kitten. Hey, kitty. I come in peace. I'm friend of cat. Oh no. He ran away. Tashi Dele. Tashi Dele. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Good. Oh, that's amazing that you speak English. Tea. Are you offering me tea? Me tea? Okay, yes. Yes, let's go. <laughs> okay, I'll check out your house too. Wow, that's beautiful. Nice home. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. So you cannot go here without being offered tea. And also I think it's bad to, to not accept. So. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh, nice home. It looks the same as the other house. Beautiful. You good. <laughs> yeah. Very, very cold. Very, very cold. Hello. <laughs> I'll sit down here. Yeah. Okay. In front of the wood. Mm. How did you learn to speak English? No, English, no. English, a little bit. All right. <laughs> I'm going to sit there and have some tea. See you guys later. No, no. Okay, they convinced me here to have some chang. Chang. Yeah. It's in this one? Hello. Okay, the rice. Chang. Oh, okay, but it's empty. Are you gonna make new? Mm. Okay. Chilong. And then you, you and me, Chang. Yeah. 
Okay. You need to be a little yeah, bit, yeah. yeah. Because he's, he said that it's going to be very strong, like a headache. Yeah. So uh, she recommended a little uh, bit. Today, then, Dalbu, Akoko, Kato. Oh, you have to mix it first. Good. good, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> but it looks good. I, I, I like that they're showing me how they're making it and everything. Look at the chimney here too. It's really, it's really nice. I'll show them the chimney. I like the design of your hut too. The artwork. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, it's ready? Okay? Okay. And, and you? Yeah. You? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. La kamar tibar tu patar telei. Du tu 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 Okay, let's see okay. then. <laughs> You're not drinking? Oh. oh yeah, you can live on this. Yes, Harold approves. Very good. <laughs> oh. Oh, more, more, more. Okay, okay. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Tomorrow, Lang Tang? Yes, tomorrow, Lang Tang. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, tomorrow, Shabbesi. Yeah, Shabbesi. Maybe Lama Hotel, Tibet Guest House. Yeah. Yeah. Kale, Kale, Chapkumbate. It's already on. You can turn it like that. Then you're filming yourself. Yeah. Get the yeah, you cannot see anything. It's like it's filming in, in that direction. Yeah. But when you're talking to the camera, you're talking yeah. like this. Hello, everyone. How are you? <laughs> you're a natural. Natural vlogger. <laughs> it's not so strong, yeah? It's not not strong. It's very smooth. Yeah. You know, Roxy, very strong. Chang. Yeah. Chang. Yeah. Chang is Chang. Yeah. Rai Chang. Rai strong. It's like a rice. Dal bat ko Chang. Oh, okay. Rai man. Bat. Yeah. Dal bat. Hmm? A dal bat drink. Mm, chang. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we have more visitors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As you come sit here. So. <laughs> you drink chang too? Yeah. Good? Good, very good, yeah. I'm I'm having my first Tibetan lesson here, so Musa, Musa. or Nepali. Nyam, Nyam Nyung. Nyam Nyung or oh, Tibetan. Tamak. Yeah. Tibetan. And then Pezung. 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 So the cat, Meow? Meow. Uh. Yeah, it's Pezung. Biralu. 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 Ooh, it's like five words for cat now. Biralu. Uh. <laughs> it, it's your cat? Uh. It, I tried to pick it up. He ran away. Biralu. Yeah, Biralu. Ah, he's very scared. Okay, I'll go find him again. Where, where, where he's sleeping? The cat. He's outside or inside? Biralu muta. Ah, okay. I think they're saying that he runs around and catches the mouse. 
He's hunting. Piralo, rats. Piralo. Okay. Well, you learn a lot when you drink, Chang. Varche. Okay, Varche. Thank you so much. Now I go go hunt for Biralu. Biralu. I will find him. I see you later. Bye bye. Man, that was funny. They were teaching me the word for snow and cat and trying to really explain to me ooh, if you can, if you had someone here, hold on, something on the lens. If you, if you have the language skills, oh man, the stories they can tell you here. I know one guy though that I'm going to run into tomorrow and he's going to tell you the bear story of his friend who lost his face to a bear attack. So... love ice water or snow in my face makes me feel fresh well since we're on the subject and we're probably approaching if we are not at probably the 20th anniversary of when nature calls I'll show you the lavatory here no this is not the lavatory uh, they don't have one actually I didn't ask but they uh, yeah, someone else mentioned too that they do exactly what Geraldo does <laughs> with his trek up here. <laughs> uh, basically, you just take your pick and find a nice secluded spot. Well, as secluded as it as it can be out here. So you've seen me right quite a number of hold on these stones are not ah, you see here they have this Ooh, it's certainly a hazardous lavatory to get to and I tell you what if you're here like when it's dark at night it's just mist you cannot see even that branch right there you better keep track of where exactly you're going I think last night I was right here, or maybe up here. Let's go there again. I mean, here too, but do. Actually, I'm just gonna go here. So, yeah, basically what I do, <laughs> not that you need this visual, but I just, take off all my clothes so I'm totally nude and then probably next to that wall one hand on the wall and then uh, make sure that your business ends up far away from your heels ankles and clothes so another day in the glamorous life of Geraldo in Himalayas anyway I rate this toilet a I can't even remember my rating scale. Hold on, am I filming? Yeah, I am. I rate it barely functional. And you're probably wondering, what do you use for toilet paper here? Well, certainly not this barbed wire. Uh, nor am I man enough to use branches like this. I use snow. And after the snow, can pour some water on your on your hands and yeah that's it now some of you are probably thinking I didn't want to hear about that well <laughs> you should have turned off before I started uh, I did say I was gonna go for a laboratory review didn't I so anyway yay to my 20th trip up here
Chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't understand. <laughs> I just want to cuddle the cat. I want to give. I want to give the the cat a hug. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Let's have a hug. Come here. Now she's happy. He's happy. Hey. Now there was a mouse or a rat here last night. Uh, which came for this. Tipped over some uh, some of the jars. I woke up, but I didn't. Apparently the baby yaks are fighting. You see them? Who? Let's see here. Uh, you go down there to separate them, he said, because they're too rowdy. Oh, there they are. Yeah, these two partner and he alone fighting, you know. I see. So I keep this in the middle, you know, so they don't fight. Who fighting with who? These two making team and fighting with him alone. You They're know? tag teaming him. Yes. Oh, wow. Who won? He won, you know. He won, the big yes. one. Yes. Oh, no. Yeah, he's probably three times their size, so. Uh -huh. Okay, so you're building a wall. Yes. That's not very progressive now, is it? Yes, so they don't fight. Oh, okay. You saying walls prevent conflict? Yes. Wow. Ah, oh, yeah, a little bit of snow. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm talking about. If you go in, as you can see, actually visibility now is not that bad. You can still kind of see, you can see like 10 meters ahead of you, but Later on at night, you're talking, you can't even see two meters ahead of you, so. You going to your grandfather's house? Yes. Yeah. All right, have fun. Okay. Not too much Chang. Okay. <laughs> I will not lock the door today. Okay. Okay, see you then. <laughs> okay. Oh. I got it, I got it. <laughs> Curry? Curry? No, I'm good, I'm good. It's my yak skin. Okay. Thank you so much for the hospitality.
Bye bye. Bye bye. See you next time. Next time coming, summer. Next time you bazaar, bazaar la shoes give me. Give shoes for mother. Ah, she wants new shoes. Yeah. All right, I'll remember that. See you then. Actually, that's a good idea. Next time I come, I can come with a mule. Oh, look at this one. He's not a fan of the Thug Life Northman. All right, let's go.